Hi there. I am so glad that you are here with me today. Welcome to Saturday Fun presented by Pikes Peak Library District. I'm Miss Stacy and I work at the East Library Children's Department. And today we're going to share lots of fun songs and rhymes about those little small animals that are everywhere outside. They're hopping and flying and crawling out in the warm spring weather. Can you think of what those little tiny animals might be? You're right, they're bugs or insects and spiders. And we are going to have lots of fun singing about them and talking about them today. And everything we do is gonna be a little silly, so I think we're gonna have a pretty good time. But first, let's make sure that we get all our wiggles out, get some exercise, doing a little kind of a wake up song here. It's called, Can You Move With Me? Are you ready? Hold your finger up to be a wiggly worm and just do what I do. Here we go. Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you flutter? Can you fly like a gentle butterfly? Can you crawl upon the ground like a beetle that is round? Can you move with me? Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? Can you slither like a snake? Can you give a little shake? Can you dance like a bee that is buzzing bzz, 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 around a tree? Can you move with me? All right, good job. You know, parents, if you're watching this with your child, songs are a great way to improve your child's vocabulary because sometimes we sing in songs a lot of words that we wouldn't normally always use in our everyday conversation. This song had some great words like wiggle and squiggle and squirm and even slither. And the motions help your child understand what they mean. This is also a great song to do outside, by the way. If you've got wiggly kids who are tired of being inside, they can go out there and they can wiggle and hop and uh, squirm and fly just uh, to their heart content out there. So, okay, now let's do another song. Actually, this one's a rhyme uh, about that animal that we heard about at the end of that song, the one that goes bzz, bzz, bzz. Do you remember what it was? A bee, right. Okay, and so this one, we're going to take our finger and it's going to be our bee and then we're going to put it on our nose because the name of this rhyme is a bee sat on my nose. So here it goes, bzz, put it on your nose. There we go. What do you suppose a bee sat on my nose? And then what do you think? He gave a little wink and then he said, oh, I beg your pardon. I thought you were a garden. Bzzz, off he flew. Good job. Shall we do that again? This time, I brought a little friend with me to use. I made this cute little bee out of a yellow sticker. I'm gonna put it on my nose. But you can use your finger again. Ready? Here we go. What do you suppose? A bee sat on my nose. And then what do you think? He gave a little wink, and then he said, Oh, I beg your pardon. I thought you were a garden. And then bzzz, off he flew. Yay, that was fun. Good job. You know, that rhyme reminded me of another one about bees. This one is about the beehive where the bees live. Can you hold up five fingers to be your five little bees? But first, we're gonna curl them up and we're gonna make the beehive where the bees live. There we go. So here is the beehive. But where are the bees? <gasps> Hiding inside where nobody sees. But can you watch and see them come out of their hive? Here they come. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz! tickle yourself. <laughs> okay, good. That's fun. Let's do it again. Ready? <clears throat> Here is the beehive. But where are the bees? <sighs> Hiding inside where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them coming out of their hive. Here they come. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz! Tickle your tummy this time. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Lots of fun to do those rhymes about bees. Well, we did a song and then we did some rhymes, so let's do another song. <clears throat> I 
I think this time we should do that song about that very famous spider who crawled up the water spout. Do you remember that one? It's called the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Here we go. We're going to take a thumb and a finger on the other hand and touch it together. And then the other thumb and the other finger. And then you just switch them back and forth to make the spider walk. Ready? Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Okay, now let's get silly. Let's make it a great big hairy spider. Ready? The great big hairy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big hairy spider went up the spout again. Good job. Okay, now let's make a teeny tiny spider. Ready? Teeny tiny voice. The teeny tiny spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the teeny tiny spider went up the spout again. Yay! Let's clap for the spiders. Good job. They were so brave. All right. One more song today. And I brought a friend to help me with this one, too. This is my little stick puppet I made with a fly on it. And the fly is going to land on our toe and the rest of our... And uh, we can learn some names for body parts. This is a really good one, parents, to learn for vocabulary with the words of all our different body parts. I'm just going to do three because we don't have too much time. But here we go. Take your finger to be your fly and reach down and touch your toe and put him on your toe. There he is. Okay. It's called A Fly is on My Toe. A fly is on my toe. A fly is on my toe. Hi ho, just watch me blow. Now blow on your toe. <laughs> And make the fly fly away. A fly was on my toe. Okay, now where did he land? He landed on your hand. A fly is on my hand. A fly is on my hand. Hi ho, just watch me blow. <laughs> away he goes. A fly was on my hand. A fly is on my nose. A fly is on my nose. Hi ho, just watch me blow. Uh oh, do you think we can blow on our nose? It's kind of tricky. Stick your lip out and go. <laughs> there he goes. A fly was on my nose. Away goes the fly. Away, way up high. Reach up high and stretch. Everybody wave goodbye. Away goes the fly. Put him behind your back. Good job. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? I hope you'll come and join us again for Saturday Fun at Pikes Peak Library District. And by the way, speaking of fun, we're getting ready to have a summer adventure program where kids all ages from birth up to 18 can listen to books or read books, do a lot of different activities, and win some cool prizes. And you can do it all from the safety and comfort of your home online. So be sure to go to ppld.org, the Pikes Peak Library District website, for more information. Bye. Thanks for coming.